So, as you can see, I've completed my seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now it's time to start the decreasing. My ball is almost done, so I'm going to get to do a ball change at the same time. So I'm going to chain two, and then we're going to do two crochet, two double crochets together. So you're going to do the way you do it normally. You're going to pull, pull through both. Then you're going to wrap it around again, go through the second stitch, grab that yarn, pull through those two, and then pull through all of them. So you've now turned those two into just the one here. So again, wrap it around, pull through, pull through two, wrap it around, go through the next stitch, pull through two, and pull through all. And now you're decreasing around, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and then pull through all. It's going to be so nice. I love this color. Trying to do it so you guys can see it, but it's getting too big. It's hitting my tripod. Whoops. No, I did that right. Okay. <laughs> so you can kind of see here, we have two going into one. They're get, they get a little bit stretched out, but when it's on your head, you won't be able to tell. yarn end here. So just to be on the safe side, I think I'm going to switch. So I've got, <coughs> got my new yarn. I'm just going to start working with it. So I'm going to wrap it around. Make sure you use the right end, the one that's attached to the ball. Okay, that didn't work out at all. Maybe I'll use this. Go we'll get it. Then I'll use this one. There, that worked better. And then just snug it at the back here. There, and now you're ready to keep going. So you're going to keep doing that, joining your row as you normally would. 
depending on how many stitches you have, you may have an extra one at the end. So just double crochet that one and then uh, keep decreasing two at a time until you have like a really small hole. And then we'll be back and I'll show you what to do then.